ChatGPT is a new technology that is changing the way we're going to use computers from education, software, technology, cooking, medicine. Any knowledge work that's out there is going to fundamentally be changed by artificial intelligence. I'm going to show you some examples of what ChatGPT is able to do today, and we're going to talk about what it's going to be able to do in the next 5-10 years. So let's take a simple example of cooking. So let's do a simple example where we ask it to show me recipes that I can make with the following ingredients. So it's able to produce a bunch of different recipe options just based on the few ingredients that I let it know about in my refrigerator. If I ask it to create a shopping list for me, it can do that too. The amazing thing about ChatGPT is you can modify your queries and speak to it in normal English. So let's go ahead and modify this query with a couple changes. So if I wanted to make the recipe gluten-free, I just let it know that I want to be gluten-free and it makes these automatic substitutions for me. It's just amazing. That being said, it's able to produce amazing results across a number of different concepts. Let's go ahead and try a development example. So let's go ahead and try this. So sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't work. Um, so, and this is important to understand that sometimes it doesn't actually produce the right results. So, all right, we ran this program and it thinks the first digits of pi is this, and this is clearly wrong. And it's important to point out that even though chat GPT is amazing in terms of what it's able to produce, it is often convinced that it is correct. It is important to verify the things that it's producing that they are actually producing valid results. And so don't take ChatGPT3 at its word. You need to double check to make sure what it's producing is accurate. That being said, I have run a number of programs, a number of tests, and it, oftentimes it does get very close or produce results that are in fact useful for me to continue to code and produce functions and results. And so it's helped me create Arduino code, Python code, C++ code, and oftentimes it is correct or very close to correct, but it is important that you double check the work and make sure it's actually producing valid results. So let's try another example. So you can use it as a tour guide. Uh, this again does a lot of the functionality of TripAdvisor. So if you ask it details, best hotels in Boston near Fenway Park. So they do have some limits on the language learning model and as you can see i'm asking for hotels near boston and it's trying to limit because it doesn't want to give wrong results uh, but it is able to give you a couple examples of some of the hotels that are in fact near uh, boston near fenway park uh, it can do a lot of other things and so another example might be doing a lot of the things that you will often find on sites like wikipedia so i can ask uh, who is the uh, 10th president of the US. And you can ask it to write creative text about this. So write a 500 word essay on the background of John Tyler and what he did that was unique. So I was able to ask it a query, have it look up details on a particular president, write a 500 word essay, absolutely amazing. Now ChatGPT3 is amazing and it can produce all sorts of results, but as I said earlier, you have to validate and verify the information that it's producing is accurate. But when you start researching it, it's actually making things up. So just double check any work that's produced by ChatGPT and make sure that it makes sense and is actually verified and validated. In this example, I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to be a Linux terminal and so I can type commands and it will tell me what the Linux system would do. So I can run commands, I can create files and everything stays consistent. It actually acts like a computer, absolutely amazing. In this example, I'm gonna act as an English translator and spelling corrector and improver. So I'm gonna give it text and it's gonna translate, simplify and make the text easier and more clear to understand. Let's give it a piece from a recent article. 
And so it's able to simplify and correct my text, make it easier to read. Just incredible. Let's try another example. So in this example, I'm gonna ask it to play an adventure game. So here I've turned ChatGPT into a text adventure game where it gives me clues, it takes me through a story, I can go left or right, and the story is writing itself. I can go deeper and deeper into the story and ChatGPT will continue to create branches of the story for me to go deeper and deeper. Just incredible. Now, ChatGPT is based on the GPT-3 technology from OpenAI. It's a new technology that's using a large language model to predict the next piece of text that's gonna be output. Now, language learning models have been getting a lot of attention over the last two years, and we're still at the early stages of what this technology can do. We will all soon start to see chat GPT-like technologies being incorporated into modern day software. So we'll be able to ask our word processor, or we'll be able to ask our favorite website for recommendations and suggestions, and we'll be able to use large language models to interpret our commands and our requests in natural human language and interact with helpful responses. This is gonna fundamentally transform a number of industries from programming and technology to medicine, to question and answer sites, to cooking, to recipes, and any other knowledge work that's out there. A lot of opportunities for startups and founders to create new companies that utilize these technologies and disrupt Wikipedia, disrupt Google, disrupt other websites and technologies that are using more traditional databases and have them leverage large language models to make a more predictive, more intuitive user interface. I'm Greg Reyes. I love talking about entrepreneurship, technology, and design. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm just a chat bot programmed to assist, but I've got a lot more to offer than this. I can probably answer and help you along just to ask a question and I'll sing my song.